Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's not really a very good morning at all, if I'm honest. It's a bad morning, bad morning, bad morning. Kenzie started projectile vomiting at 3 a.m. this morning. Do you know what I said to a parent only yesterday? I think it was when I was handing out the presents the kids had made. There's so many bugs around, so many people have been off ill. I'm gonna get the presents sent off because if one of us is ill, if like I'm ill or the kids are ill, then the presents aren't gonna get back to their parents. Is it like a sixth sense or a jinx? I don't know. But 3 a.m. this morning, Kenzie has projectile vomited over the carpet of his bedroom, over the whole of the bathroom, and it has been full on sick since he's been, as well, not even asleep, he's been laying on the bathroom floor on a makeshift bed. Because he's just constantly being sick and it's coming on really quick. So I've spent most of the night scrubbing and up and down checking on him. Um, I went to the pub to see if they had any Lucasade. They have no Lucasade. Um, oh, excuse me. So I got him Coke, and I'm gonna leave some to go flat. He just took a sip of the Coke, and it just made him straight away throw straight back up again. Um, but I need something flat with some sugars and stuff in. Um, but I'm not gonna leave him on his own to go and get Lucasade from town. So I just have to make do with flat Coke. Um, Brendan hasn't gone in. Brendan was struggling to go to sleep anyway, so he, his head felt funny. Um, so he wasn't really sleeping, and then all that chaos at three in the morning, he offered to help clear up, bless him. I was like, look, I don't really want you getting this. So you could go make a cup of tea, that would be really helpful. Um, but he has offered to help me disinfect the house today, which is really sweet. I'm letting him have a lay in. Um, Chloe's gonna bring me her mum's carpet cleaner in a bit so I can get the carpet cleaned. Oh, I had a parent turn up who wasn't on the group chat for some reason. Well, I had two parents turn up because Sarah's, I had Sarah turn up and had to turn her away because she's not permanent. I didn't put her on the group chat. Um, so yes, I've had to turn two parents away. I hate doing that, which is why I have the group chat because then I don't forget anybody. It doesn't account for anyone taking them off themselves off the group chat though, unfortunately. Um, oh, yeah, so we're all very tired and poor old Kenzie is really rough, bless him. I have run him a bath, given him a bucket, another cup of water, which isn't staying down. And he said the water's helping his stomach a bit, so we'll just see how he gets on. I'm gonna make a cup of tea for myself. I've put the washing in the washing machine, in the tumble dryer from last night's puke clean up that was in the washing machine that Lee put on this um, early hours this morning. And I think I'll put some of his bedding in because he's already been sick over one of the blankets. So I think I'll put that in the washing machine and get that tumble dried while he's in the bath. It's horrible people. We are quarantined. We need a big red cross on our door. Do not enter. And I'm meant to be having Jasper tomorrow, so I have sent a message to my family saying, look, you might want to have a backup plan for Jasper. Because he doesn't want to get this. I mean, we've got like two weeks till Christmas. Two weeks till Christmas. Don't want bugs. Right. Tea. I've got a cuppa. Chloe has dropped off the hoover. So that's good news. Uh, Thomas's mum's walked past. He's got his preschool visit. She was like, you poor things. I was like, yeah, I know. I feel so sorry for him. But she said she'd grab Kenzie some Lucasade. She got an appointment at lunchtime. And then she'll pick some Lucasade up for him on the way home and drop it off. So I'm very, very grateful to that, for that. I tell you what, it's, you know, it's, it's tough sometimes living in a village because you have no facilities and you need a car to go and do anything. But there's also a lot of nice people around who will help. I mean, I literally put on my group chat, if anybody is near a shop that sells Lucasaid and you're gonna be back at some point today, could you please grab me a bottle? I would be most grateful. 
and Ruby's mum offered, but she's not going to be home until late, like this evening, sort of after school run. Um, and Lee's due home at half four, so um, yeah, I thought, well, Lee can pick some up, save her the job. But yeah, Lindsay's going to be home sooner, so I'm going to take her up on that offer, or I have taken her up on that offer. <gasps> I'm just going to enjoy a cup of tea for a bit. I literally haven't slept. I did I did lay down, but I was constantly listening for him being sick and then checking on him when he was sick. And you can't settle, can you, when one of your kids is ill? So, yeah. I don't think I went to sleep before 12, so I've had like three hours sleep. Well, you know me, I never go to sleep before 12, do I? Oh, dear. Well, at least I'm not working this evening. It's not, it's, it's a quieter week, work-wise. I've only done one night's work rather than two, which I have been doing per week. I think it's two again next week. Oh, dear Ruby. Right, I'm gonna drink my tea before it goes cold. Harvey Beth and Finn's mum, she's a nurse, so I spoke to her just to check how long I should leave her with him being sick so often, and she sent over some Dioralite, and uh, he's had a bit of a bath with his bucket, he kept being sick, um, fingers crossed, he's not been sick for 45 minutes, and he's asleep. beginning of coming out the other side. I've done the bedroom floor, as you've seen. I've done the landing, where he kind of didn't quite make it to the bathroom. Since I've got the cleaner, I'm just gonna flip it around the bedroom and do all the way down the stairs where we've had like tea spills and stuff. Um, and then that will be lovely pre-Christmas while I've got the cleaner here. <sighs> God, makes your bones ache. Achey, achey. Right, I've got to get through all this washing as well. I've got all the windows open, disinfecting everything. Do not want a bug. Brendan's in charge of Kenzie care while I go and vote. You don't literally have to hover over him, but you know, just keep an eye on him. Thank you. 
I'll be back in two minutes. I'm having a little lay down. So it's half three-ish, something like that. I've had a shower, put some clean pyjamas on, and I'm relaxing. Kenzie's woken up from his nap. He's had another little nap. He keeps dozing off, to be fair. Um, he's watching a little bit of telly, and he looks like he's got a little bit of colour coming back. So that's good. And he's kept some Lucasade down, which is brilliant. Um, so we'll just keep going with a bit of Lucasade and a little bit of water, just keep sipping on it, see how he does. So I'm just watching some YouTube and laying under my duvet and relaxing. I don't really want to fall asleep, otherwise it'll mess up tonight's bedtime. But at the same time, I do want to go to sleep because I've had three hours sleep. Hmm. Well, at least the house is nice and clean. It smells lovely. <laughs> it's well and truly disinfected. Got to be an upside to a bug, right? Hmm. Right, I'm going to go back to watching my video. And I will see you all in a bit. So, fingers crossed. Kenzie's still not being sick. Leaves you home any minute. Um... Brendan's just made another cup of tea. I've been trying to watch um, a video, a YouTube video. Um, Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I've been watching one of her vlogs. Um, and her vlogs are usually sort of half an hour long, which is really lovely. But when I'm sleepy, it's like it just I kind of her voice lulls me. <laughs> so I ended up kind of dozing and waking and dozing, going, stop it, reverse, not reverse, you know, rewind. What was I thinking? What were they watching? Um, so, yeah. I need to go check on Kenzie. Um, he's watching telly. And, yeah, I just need to check that he's having enough fluids and what have you. Oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. I think I might just do some cheese on toast or something for me. I've got some gluten-free or wheat-free toast um, bread. It'll be nice and simple. Everyone fend for themselves. I mean, obviously, Kenzie's not having anything. But, um, yeah, everybody just fend for themselves a bit, I think. Right. Let's go and check on Kenzie. Oh, right. Oh, static -y. You hear that? Static. Oh, my goodness. Right. Okay, time to get some more stuff dry. And more stuff washed. Oh, not really sure what I'm going to do tomorrow now. Um, obviously, Kenzie's going to be at home. I was meant to be having Jasper. But I really don't want him here with this bug. It's not really fair on him, poor thing. So, yeah. Day at home again, I think. With the boy. <sighs> Nearly threw this laundry basket. Most of it was from last night. A few bits were from the laundry, well, sort of half a basket was from the laundry basket upstairs. Hmm. That's a small load. Put that in as well. Right. Let's put that on. I think Scrag Brag Pip is going to end the vlog here tonight. It's only quarter past five, but I suspect it's going to be an early night. And I've pretty much edited everything I've filmed so far. So I may as well just 
post it up. Um, I can't see anything terribly exciting happening this evening, but you never know. If it does, I'll be sure to catch it on film for you. So, enjoying my tea. Just doing some chicken goujons for Lee and Brendan. Um, and then maybe Brendan can put some in a wrap when they've cooled down and he can have them in his lunchbox tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And then, we'll just see what happens tomorrow. I think it's going to be a pretty much hanging around chilled day. Like I said, the house has been scrubbed between Brendan and I. The house has been scrubbed. So, I shouldn't have an awful lot to do. I might get some reading done. I've been very slack on that of late. Yeah, I might get some reading done. Anyway, I'll see you lovely lot tomorrow. Thanks for watching.